Shana Tova, we're so glad that you are with us this morning. I share with you these words uh, that, that are written by Rabbi Jen uh, Gubitz. I, I, I think often we offer the words as rabbis that we most need to hear, so I, I lovingly share these with you. Hello couch, hello kitchen table, hello backyard. I look around my house and I greet these ordinary objects. We have spent more time together these past months than usual. Thank you for being an, an oasis of comfort and safety. You have worked so hard to hold me day in and day out. How can we allow you and me to rest and restore and return on this most sacred day? I transform with my desire for the change I wish to see in myself. You, dear couch, table, backyard, you are now my sacred space, my mikdash me'at a sanctuary where I will allow myself to become present to my breath, to turn down the noise of the world, and to turn up the volume of my prayers. Shana Tova, dear couch. Good Yantuf, dear kitchen table. Gamar Tov, dear backyard. In this holy space that is my home, I pursue my desire to become whole. We invite you, please, in your mikdash me'at, in your holy and your sacred spaces, to join us in prayer, in song, in spirit, as we worship together. Please, where you see a prayer that is familiar to you, a song or a passage, please do join with us, and we bridge the gap between us, making these holy spaces our collective whole. Let us continue praying together. You have taught us Guard yourselves well. Take good care of your lives. Your word calls to us, do no harm to yourself. Do not weaken or exhaust yourself. In gratitude for the gift of our bodies, we pray for a year of renewed health and replenished strength. May caring for our bodies become our daily practice. May we be attentive to our need for proper food, sleep, and exercise. Let no injury come to others through our acts or failure to act. But let our mitzvah be this, to build a just society in which care is a birthright and the blessing of health the responsibility of all. Baruch ata Adonai, rofecho basar umaflila asot. We praise you, Holy One, for wondrous acts of creation and healing. Join us, please, as we continue singing together Psalm 150. We offer our praise.
beloved friend who calls us to conscience, reminds us of our own strength, invites us to grow, empowers us to act. Cosmic mysteries are yours, but the earth is ours to tend and heal as best we can. Beloved partner in creation, we join our strength with yours to make you real and true. Baruch Ata Adonai, El Melech Gadol Batishbachot, El Hahodaot, Adon Haniflaot, Habocher Bashire Zimra Melech El Che Haolamim. Blessed are you, Adonai, sovereign of praise, source of the impulse to give thanks, crown of wonders who desires a world filled with song and a universe of life. We continue with our call to worship the Barhu, and we invite you, please, in body or in spirit, to rise. Chadash al Zion Ta'ir, Benizchech Ulanu Mehera Oro. May you shine a new light on Zion, and may we soon be privileged to share in that light. Baruch Ata Adonai Yotzer Hamerot. Bring us in peace from the four corners of the earth. Lead us with upright pride to the land that is ours, for you are a God of miracles and wonders. From all the peoples of the earth, you sought us out and brought us near to your great enduring truth. So with love, we acknowledge and proclaim that you are one. Baruch Ata Adonai, Habocher Be'amo Yisrael Be'ahava. Please be seated. The Ahavta head at a nile of Heha, Behole Bavha, Behol Nafsheha, who behold me or deha, the Hayu had barim hale, a share on a he met Sabeha.
Let us continue reading together. Where does Israel get the courage, the chutzpah, to go on believing in redemption in a world that knows mass hunger, political exile, and war? How can Jews testify to hope and human value when they have been continuously persecuted, hated, expelled, destroyed, out of the memories of the Exodus? <laughs> In body or in spirit, we invite you please to rise. Oh 
Hashem again. Baruch Adonai, Magen Abraham is Ratzara. Please be seated. The Unatana Toka of prayer is stirring, chilling, and difficult always, but especially this year. To the words of our traditional liturgy, we consider adding these words, written by Rabbi Joseph Mesler, which focuses on the writing of our own book of life for God to read. On Rosh Hashanah, it is written, on Yom Kippur, it is sealed, that this year people will live and die some more gently than others, and nothing lives forever. But amidst overwhelming forces of nature and humankind, we still write our own book of life, and our actions are the words in it, and the stages of our lives are the chapters, and nothing goes unrecorded ever. Every deed counts. Everything you do matters. And we never know what act or word will leave an impression or tip the scale. So if not now, then when? For the things we can change, there is teshuva, realignment. For the things we cannot change, there is tefillah, prayer. For the help we can give, there is tzedakah, justice. Together, let us write a beautiful book of life for the Holy One to read.
Unatana Tokef Kedushat Hayom. Let us proclaim the power of this day, a day whose holiness awakens deepest awe and inspires highest praise for your dominion. For your throne is a throne of love. Your reign is a reign of truth. In truth, you are judge and plaintiff, counselor and witness. You inscribe and seal, you record and recount. You remember all that we have forgotten. And when you open the book of memories, it speaks for itself. For every human hand leaves its mark and imprint like no other. On Rosh Hashanah, this is written. On the fast of Yom Kippur, this is sealed. How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will reach the ripeness of age? Who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? Who by war and who by beast? who by famine and who by drought, who by earthquake and who by plague, who by strangling and who by stoning, who will rest and who will wander, who will be tranquil and who will be troubled, who will be calm and who tormented, who will live in poverty and who in prosperity, who will be humbled and who exalted. But through return to the right path, through prayer and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. We continue together with the Kedusha. We sanctify your name in the world as celestial song sanctifies you in realms beyond our world. In the words of your prophet, holy, holy, holy is the God of heaven's hosts. The fullness of the whole earth is God's glory. God of strength who gives us strength, God of might who gives us might, how magnificent the signs of your being throughout the earth. Blessed is the splendor that shines forth from the eternal. Our God is one, Avinu and Malkenu, sovereign source of life and liberation, revealing with mercy to all who live, I am Adonai, your God. The eternal shall reign for all time, your God for all generations, Zion, hallelujah.
kadosh ata benora shemecha ve'en aloa mi baladecha kakatuv vayikba adonai sevaot vamishpat v'ha'el hakadosh nikdash vitzdaka. You are holy. Your name is Ah. There is nothing divine beyond you. As the prophet Isaiah taught, the source of all might is exalted through justice. The God of holiness made holy through righteousness. Baruch Ata Adonai HaMelech HaKadosh Blessed are you, Adonai, Holy Sovereign. Amen. You chose us with love to be messengers of mitzvot, and through us you may known your aspirations. Among all the many peoples, you gave us a pathway to holiness. Among all the great nations, you uplifted us and made yourself our sovereign. And so we seek you and serve you and celebrate our nearness to your presence. Your great and sacred name has become our calling. Our God and God of the generations before us, may a memory of us ascend and come before you. May it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness, together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, the family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor for love and compassion, for life, and for peace on this day of remembrance. Zochrenu Adonai Eloheinu Bo Letova. Amen. Ufokdenu Vo Libracha. Amen. Vehoshienu Vo Lechayim. Amen. Eternal our God, remember us. Amen. Be mindful of us. Amen. And redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. The Olenu was originally composed for this holy day in our calendar. So today on Rosh Hashanah, it is called the Olenu Hagadol, the great Olenu. Not only do we bow, but traditionally we'd put our bodies in full prostration, knees first, then hands, then forehead. We invite you to rise in body or in spirit. And if you'd like, we also invite you to find a small piece of floor or space in front of you so you could prostrate as you feel comfortable alongside us to this prayer.
We continue with the blessings for the sounding of the shofar. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedoshan Mitzvotah Vetzivanu Lishmo Akol Shofar Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Shehehiyanu Vekimanu Vehigiyanu lazman chaze. Tekia. Shavarim terua. Tekia. Tekia. Shavarim Tekia Tekia Terua Tekia Please be seated. Our praise to you, Eternal One, whose power pervades all the earth. You bring holiness to the people of Israel and to this day of remembrance. El Karov Lechol Korav, Pine El Abadecha Bechoninu, Shifoch Ruchacha Alenu, Betechazena Eninu, Vishuvacha Litzion Mirachamim. Baruch Ata Adonai, Amachazir Shechinatol Litzion. Blessed are you whose divine presence is felt again in Zion. Giver of life and all good gifts, grant us also wisdom to use only what we need, courage to trust your bounty imagination to preserve our resources, determination to deny frivolous excess, and inspiration to sustain through temptation. Blessed are you, Adonai, whose goodness deserves thanks and praise. Our God, divine presence, whose path our ancestors walked, bless us now with words first bestowed on Israel in the time of Moses and Aaron the threefold blessing given us through Torah that joins our hopes with theirs. May you know God's blessings of shelter and care. May you receive the light of God's kindness and grace. May you see God's favor and goodness. And may you partake of God's peace. As these words reverberate, we continue in silence, in meditation, in prayer.
Let us turn our prayers to the great many who are in need at this time, as we say. Mishaberach avotenu Avraham Yitzchak v'Yaakov, v'imotenu Sarah Rivka Rachel v'Leia, hu yivarech v'yirapeh et ha'cholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors bring the blessing of health to those who are ill and those who are hurting. Let us hold in our hearts and our prayers all those who are struggling and who are in need of strength and healing and patience and courage. As we say, bless all those who put themselves at risk to care for the sick, who navigate the unfolding dangers of the world each day to tend to, do, to those they have sworn to help. Bless them in their coming home and bless them in their going out. Ease their fear, sustain them, source of all breath, healer of all beings. Protect them and restore their hope. Strengthen them that they may bring strength. Keep them in health that they may bring healing. Help them know again a time when they can breathe without fear. Bless the sacred work of their hands. 
for all who are experiencing weakness of body or weakness of spirit, all those whom you love. Let strength and renewal come soon. Let us join together in saying, Amen. We continue now with our Seder Kriyat Torah, our service for the reading of Torah. This morning we will be reading from Breshit, from the book of Genesis. If ever there was a time for us to explore more deeply creation and our hand in being partners in creation, this is that time. We continue now with our Seder Kriyat Torah. For the first Aliyah, we call Jean Schwartz. Yamot Leliya le Torah Rishona. Baruch Hu Ed Adonai Hamavorach. Baruch Adonai Hamavorach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Boch Abono Mikol Ho Amin. Vinotan Lono Ed Torah To. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten Ha Torah. Breshit bara Elohim et hashamayim vet haaretz vearetz haita toho vabohu vehoshechal pnei tehom veruach Elohim merahefet al pnei hamayim vayomer Elohim yeor Vehior Bayar Elohim et haor kitov Vayavdel Elohim Bein haor uvein hachoshech Vayikra Elohim lahor Yom velachoshech kara laila Vahi ere, vahi vokere, yom ehad. Vayom er Elohim, yehi rakia beto hamayim. Vihi mavdil bein mahayim lamayim. Vayas Elohim et harakia. Vayavdel Bein hamayim Asher mitachat larakia Ubein hamayim Asher meal larakia Vayihi chen Vayikra Elohim larakia Shamayim Vayihi eref Vayihi voker Yom sheni Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher notan lanu Torah demet, v'chayei olam notah betocheinu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah. For the second Aliyah, we call Lauren Lieberman, Tamot, Leliyah le-Torah shniya. Baruch hu ad Adonai ham-barach, Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Vahed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmin V'Natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Vayomer Elohim Yikavu HaMayim Mita Chat HaShamayim Al makom echad vetera eh hayabasha vayehi chen vayikra Elohim lebasha eretz ule mikveh hamayim kara yamim vayar Elohim kitov. Vayomer Elohim, tache haharetz deshe, esef mazriya zera, etz peri yose peri lemino, asher zarovo al haharetz vehichen. 
ותוצא הארץ דשר. אסף מזריע זרע למינהו, וצוצא פרי אשר זרעו למינהו, וירא אלוהים כי טוב. ויהי ערב ויהי בוקר יום שלישי. ויאמר אלוהים יהי מאורות ברכי השמיים להבדיל בין היום ובין הלילה והיו לאותות ולמועדים ולימים ושנים, והיו לי מאורות ברכי השמיים להעיר על הארץ ויהיכן. ויעש אלוהים את שני המאורות הגדולים, את המאור הגדול לממשלת היום. ואת המאור הקטון לממשלת הלילה ואת הכוכבים. ויתן אותם אלוהים ברקיע השמיים להאיר על הארץ. ולשמור ביום ובלילה ולהבדיל בין האור ובין החושת, וירא אלוהים כי טוב, ויהי ערב ויהי בוקר יום רביעי. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורה אמת. בחיי עולם נותן בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו. ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. ויאמר אלוהים, ישרצו המים שארץ נפש חיה. ועוף יופף על הארץ על פני רקיע השמיים. ויברא אלוהים את התנינים הגדולים ואת כל נפש החיה הרומסת אשר שרצו המים למיניהם, ואת כל עוף כנב למינהו, וירא אלוהים כי טוב. ויברך אותם אלוהים לאמור, פירור והוא מילאו את המים בימים והאוף ירב בארץ ויהי ערב ויהי בוקר יום חמישי. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נתן בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני We continue with Avinu Malkenu and we invite you please in body or in spirit to rise.
Avinu Malkenu Shema Kolenu, Avinu Malkenu Almighty and Merciful, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu Chatanu Lefanecha, Avinu Malkenu, we have strayed and sinned before you. Avinu Malkenu Chamol Alenu Ve'al Ol Alenu Ve'tapenu, Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and on our families. Avinu Malkenu Kale Dever Ve'cherev Ve'ra'av Me'alenu, Avinu Malkenu halts the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkenu Kale Kol Tsar Umastin Me'alenu, Avinu Malkenu halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu Kotvenu Besefer Chaim Tovim, Avinu Malkenu enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkenu. Chadesh Alenu Shana Tova, Avinu Malkenu, renew for us a year of goodness. Avinu Malkenu, Chanenu Ve'anenu, Ki Ein Banu Ma'asim, Ase Imanu Tzedaka V'chesed V'hoshienu. Avinu Malkenu, Almighty and Merciful, answer us with grace, for our deeds are wanting. Save us through acts of justice and love. With all our lives being affected by the pandemic, this year has been hard. It can feel like we're missing out on a lot of our routine, no longer being able to visit family or friends, grandparents and grandparents not seeing their kids who live far away, missing gathering in person or having dinners with friends at home, wondering what the school year will look like with virtual learning. At times, we wish we could return to Shuva, to the beginning, before COVID happened, when things seemed better. Yet so many of us are aware that we will not be returning to normal for a long time, if ever. Even before COVID, our world was torn in so many pieces. As poet and activist Sonia Renee Taylor teaches us, we will not go back to normal. Normal never was. Our pre-corona existence was not normal other than we normalized greed, inequity, exhaustion, and so much more. We are being given the opportunity to stitch a new garment, one that fits all of humanity and nature. A few months ago, I was given the unexpected opportunity to stitch a new garment, to move forward, instead of staying with a feeling that was uncomfortable. For over a decade, I was holding on to negative feelings about the Jewish summer camp I attended because of the homophobia and bullying that I experienced as a camper. Out of the blue, I received an email and was invited to be part of a camp alumni Zoom call. There, a friend and I spoke about our experiences, suggesting that they use this year of virtual camp as an opportunity for reflection and growth, addressing the racism and homophobia that was allowed to stay dormant when we were campers. We suggested a virtual pride Shabbat. To my surprise, this was met with immediate positivity and support. 
A few weeks later, I witnessed LGBTQ alumni, campers, and teens singing their hearts out, reading queer Jewish liturgy and poems, wearing rainbow and tie-dye. I knew that I could never return back in time and be an out and proud kid or teen like those campers. I could never have the joy and acceptance they had by the same camp, nor could I return to my real past self and tell her to be herself and be strong. But now I was no longer stuck in my old sentiments. I could move forward. I could address negative feelings of past that have remained to the present and offer a space for healing and growth for myself and a future generation. Let us reflect for a moment on our Torah. We read this morning from the book of Bereshit, Creation. In the beginning, God created day and night, heaven, earth, and seas, plants, fruits, and trees. God brought brought forth living creatures, beasts, insects, and then God created human in the divine image. God saw that all God created was good. As we know from our story, the purity of mankind did not last. Humans gained the recognition of good and evil from eating from the tree of knowledge and as a result entered a complex and chaotic world so new to their mind. Many Jews believe that when the Messiah comes, we will finally return to the days of the Garden of Eden and be freed from knowing evil or depravity. Reform Judaism tends to shy away from this theology recognizing that for any new world to come, we must make this world we are living in better each day for ourselves and the future generations. We shouldn't focus on longing for the past when the present is tangible and the future is malleable. In some ways, it is in more of our control. When God says, let us make man in our image after our likeness, They shall rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the cattle, the whole earth, and the creeping things. God is blessing us to have free will, to control over ourselves and other things, and to work in partnership with one another and with God. Although Adam and Eve reached a point of no return, God saw what God made in God's image was still good because Perhaps they had a way to move forward, stitching a new garment for themselves and the next generation. From that point, humans were able to make conscious choices at every moment to do the right thing. So what does teshuva return mean when we can't return to the way things were before? Doing teshuva each year does not mean that we have to turn back to a certain time of the past, as that past is long gone. Rather, Teshuva offers us an opportunity to both look ahead and return to our best selves in the present. Whether it be for us, for others, or for future generations, we have the opportunities to better know ourselves and to build a better world. Let us all stitch and try on many new garments this year. There may be relationships that you've been meaning to work on and mend, and now may be the time. You might find new opportunities to participate in necessary anti-racism work in your community. Or maybe you haven't picked up your flute or guitar in years and it's time to practice again. Maybe you pick up the phone and talk to someone who's lonely or find small ways to make someone else's day brighter. And with work, so many of our jobs in flux, we can think, who am I if I'm not working or not able to work like I used to? Who can I be and where do I place myself in this world? Sonia Renee Taylor continues, we have nothing but the opportunity to reinvent ourselves. If space and possibility is open right now, we have some choice about what we would like to see put in it. We are at a tough time, but I believe that it's possible to really activate what I like to call our liberatory imaginations, 
to what it is that will deeply bring us joy. By taking opportunities to stitch our new garments, we not only learn about ourselves and what makes us happy, but move forward with positive change, bringing us closer to a better world. Now is the time that together we can move forward in our work in this world, in, in the path and partnership that God gave us from the days of our creation, and in what I hope will be a better year next year. Lishana Tova. Uh, we continue with our concluding prayers with the Elenu, and we invite you, please, in body or in spirit, to rise. Alenu le shabi akladon hakon, la ter girlal yotzer breshit, shehu asanu le shomre harama, vehu samanu le shliche hatora, shehu sam chayenu itam, vegohor alenu im kol haolam, vanachnu korim, umishtahavim umadim, lifne Baruch Hu, Benemar, Behayadonai, Lemelech al Koharetz, Bayomahu, Bayomahu, Iadonai Echad, Ushimu, Ushimu, Ushimu. Our thoughts turn to loved ones whom death has taken from us in recent days and those who died at this season in years past. Our hearts open as well to the wider, much wider circles of loss in our community and wherever grief touches the human family. Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be a blessing in this new year and always. We join together in the words of the Mourner's Kaddish. Yit kadal vit kadash me raba, be alma di vrachir te viam lich malchute, Bechayechon of Yomechon of Chaye de Hol Beit Yisrael, Bagala of Isman Kari vimru amen. Yehesh me raba me varach le olam ulme almaya, Yit barach vish tabach vit paar vit ramam vit nase, Vit a dar vit a le vit a lal shme de kudisha brihu. Leila, Uleila, Mikol Birchata Vashirata, Tushbechata Venechamata, Da Amiran Belma, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya, Vechaim Alenu Vel Kol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. O Se Shalom Bimramav, Huya Ase Shalom, Alenu Vel Kol Yisrael, Vel Kol Yoshve Tevel, Vimru, Amen. May the source of peace bestow peace on all who mourn and may we be a source of comfort to all who are bereaved, as we all of us join together in saying, Amen. And please be seated. We share with you some brief announcements this morning. On Wednesday, we have religious school starting at 4.30 p.m. and our adult education Musar class at 7 p.m. On September 25th, we have our Air of Shabbat service at 6 p.m. And then on Saturday morning, regular Torah study at 9.15 and Shabbat morning services at 10.30. And then on Sunday, September 27th, please please join us for Kol Nidre services, which will begin at 8 p.m., but preceded by our food drive from 4 to 6 p.m., ordinarily held at the JCC. But please take special note that we are having a collection here at Temple from 4 to 6 p.m., and the goal is for us to raise at least 2,000 pounds, maybe even to surp surpass that in this year um, for the Brighton Food Cupboard. Uh, we invite you please to bring your non-perishable goods. You will see a listing of items, items that the, the food pantry is in need of collecting. And we ask you please from four to six to, to bring that to, to, to Temple. And on Monday, September 28th, we have our full lineup of services, which you can find on our website and in snippets as well, with our Young Family Service at 9.30 a.m., our traditional service at 10 a.m., our music, meditation, and dialogue for our teens at 10.30 a.m., and our family and contemporary service at 11.30 a.m. 
All of that is followed at 2 p.m. with our Torah reading and Torah study, again with our student Rabbi Leah Nussbaum uh, at 2 p.m., and we hope that you can join us then. On Yom Kippur afternoon, please note that our Yisker memorial service will begin at 4 p.m. and Ni'ila at 5.15. Special thank you to Cantor Renata Braun, to our student Rabbi Leah Nussbaum, to Irina Lupinus, to Ilan Adar for his always stirring sounding of the shofar, to our temple office staff for all of their preparation day in and day out, to Lindsay Hagen and Wendy Beller Madway and the entire Religious Practices Committee, for Ellen Goldenberg and Lindsay Hagen and all of their work putting together our honors, to Rick Rizzo and Bruce Dunn, without whose expertise and extensive audio video expertise and patience and genius, none of this would have been possible. We thank you. Yehi ratzon milfanecha Adonai Elohenu velohe avotenu v'imotenu, shatechadesh aleinu shana tova umetuka. Our God and God of our ancestors, eternal God of all generations, may your presence in our lives this new year renew our spirits and renew our strength. May it be a good year. May it be a healthy year. May it be a sweet year. For the last sounding of the shofar, we invite you, please, to rise. Tekia <laughs> Gedola. We wish you and those you love a Shana Tova Umetuka, a sweet new year filled with good health, good spirits, and peace. Le Shana Tova Tikotevu, Le Shana Tova Tikotevu, Le Shana Tikotevu, Utehotevu.